Okay, everybody, I was asked to do a quick video about the Patriot Act to kind of help you guys with the paper that's due on the 1st. So, one of the concerns that I had with the Patriot Act was kind of the, the time it took to pass it. Um, it was passed uh, and signed into law by President George W. Bush on October 26, 2001. Response to 9-11, which happened in 2001 as well, and as you can see... It wasn't much time between 9-11 and October 26th that this, um, it, it didn't take long for this bill to get passed. <clears throat> what I want you guys to do is describe the bill, why was it put into law, and how does this affect U.S. foreign policy as far as, you know, us dealing with other countries and us being able to surveil on citizens of other countries. If we look at the voting Um, you could see it was introduced by Jim Sensenbrenner on October 23rd, 2001. Uh, then the very next day on October 24th, the House passed it 357 to 66. Um, in October 25th, the act was passed by the Senate, uh, 98 to 1. So you can see, you know, it, it happening pretty quickly and pretty, um, not unanimously, but overwhelmingly, overwhelming support, right? But I think when we talk about some of the concerns was that um, that it took a really, really quick time to pass this. And it didn't seem like there were much arguments involved or much debate going on. Um, why did this happen? Why did people, uh, you know, pass this bill so quickly? One, you're probably still scared of terrorism, right? Two, if you didn't pass it, you might be considered to be unpatriotic or un-American, and three, if you would have wouldn't have passed it, you might be looking at you know your re-election campaigns uh, not going as well as you would like to be because they might use that against you. Um, your opponent might use that against you in the campaign. So you know things like that. And um, you know it was in response to nine eleven. I think people didn't really know what they were voting on. And, um, you know, that whole concept of being declared an American might hurt you at re-election time. Um, when we talk about the important sections, 215 is probably one of the more important sections. It gives the government the ability to, to seize any tangible thing without warrant. You know, remember generally when the police have to, when the police want to uh, take something from us, they have to have a warrant that establishes probable cause that, a crime has been committed and that um, that warrant has to be signed by a judge. This doesn't happen if you are falling within the jurisdiction of the Patriot Act. So the government can, can surveil on you if they believe that you're affiliated with terrorism. And these tangible things can include books, records, paper documents, papers, documents, and other items. Um, Section 206 permits roving John Doe wiretaps, meaning that the government can wiretap different um, ways of communication without a warrant, without a statement of purpose, or not even identifying the suspected terrorist. So we can see that 206 leaves a wide open window for people to be surveilled against. At 6001, uh, the loan with provision authorized surveillance of non-U.S. citizens who give the government the reason to believe that he or she will participate or support an act of terrorism. And, you know, when we, when we kind of talk about it and look at some of the things, um, the government can go through our individual records, medical history, what, we go, uh, what sites we visit on the internet, what we purchase in a bookstore, what books we check out at the library, what travel plans, patterns that we have, all without a warrant. So those are just some of the things that I can I, I have a concern about were that this kind of gives the government an open ended way of surveilling on us, even if we're not involved in terrorism. Uh, I think, you know, the, the tangible thing and an act of terrorism is such a broad, uh, you know, scope of things that, you know, it could probably fit just about anything into those criteria. Okay, so that's what I wanted you guys to look at the Patriot Act. Make sure you look at this, look at the slideshow again. And if you have any questions about the paper, let me know. Okay, we'll talk to you soon.